I do consider myself a survivor and I can't really say when I considered myself. I think it was probably almost right after my treatment ended because I felt a renewed feeling within myself. I felt that I came through all the treatment, um, my hair was starting to grow back, um, I was starting to get the energy level that I had pre-surgery, pre-treatment, and I knew I was going to beat it. I just had that sense that I was going to beat this, that this was not going to be my end, that I had too much in life to live for. Um, I had two children. I have two children. Um, I had a job that I love, um, a husband, family, and I just wasn't going to let this be my legacy to end right there. I wanted to keep going. Being treated here at CINJ gave me a lot of hope because all my doctors and treatment was right here in the one building. I wasn't going to one doctor's office then having to go to another place for my treatment. Everybody was here and whenever I walked in the door I always met Joe and Joe is like my rock and he hugs me, he you know says where are my brownies so he makes me laugh because I typically come in with a tray of brownies. I walk in here and everyone's smiling, they make me smile, and that just brings a happy note to my day, if it's been a bad day at work. And people say to me, how can you walk out of that building feeling hopeful? Because it's given me my life back. Dr. Tan, she's been fabulous. Um, I love her, and you know, she comes in my room, she gives me hugs, she gives me hugs goodbye. Um, when I was supposed to come to the point of once a year, she looked at me with a tearful, almost look on her face, and she said to me, would you be upset if I asked you to come back in four months? And I said, is there a reason? And she said, because I'm gonna miss you. And I said, I'm gonna miss you too. And so we have a wonderful relationship. And she's always made me feel that if there was, a, you know, even if I didn't have an appointment, here's my phone, just call me. I think my piece of wisdom for a newly diagnosed patient would be just take one day at a time. You know, get through that first day, listen to what the doctor says to you. Don't let that be your end. Yes, cancer is a hard word to, you know, listen to. You don't ever want to be diagnosed, but take it for what it is. Listen to what they offer you. Listen to what type of treatment they can give you and one foot forward, um, you know, one after the other, and you'll make it through. I think having that positive attitude was always very important for me.